I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take a bath though because we have a dead spider in our bathtub that's been there for like a week and neither Aaron nor I are brave enough to get rid of it. So the bath might just be broken forever. Yeah, it's the end of the bathtub. I might throw away the whole bathtub at this point. I don't know, can you throw away a whole bathtub? That might be kind of a challenge. Just burn it instead. I wanna start off with the Little Box of Horrors. And um, so Little Box of Horrors is a new um, indie nail box. I believe that it just started about six months ago and it's a every two months box. It's pretty cool. And so it's always themed after like horror themes of different types. And I just started doing it. And so I'm actually gonna be opening, this one was from September. So this is gonna have a variety of stuff that I'm not really gonna open in any particular order. I'm gonna get started with this fun little package. This is a very pretty little wrapped package. This is a very cute trinket dish that says, I myself am strange and unusual, which is a reference, I think, to Beetlejuice. And it is very sparkly. You can see it's about the size of the palm of my hand. And it's kind of nice. It's got these little things on the bottom and it's from the Soapy Chef. I believe they make a bunch of these. So this is adorable. <laughs> um, okay, so this is from Lacquer is in the Air. Um, and these are tiny magnets. I thought these were adorable for a couple of reasons. Not only can I put them on my Helmer, which is my metal nail polish drawer set that I keep my nail polish in, but they're neodymium. And so this is the kind of magnet that actually works really well for nail polish. So you can use this to make little dots on your nails for like your magnetic nail polish, which I think is so cute. So there's four of them here. They're very magnetic. And so two of them are these tiny little pumpkins and then two of them are little ghosties. Very cute. And this is from Lacquers in the Air, which is a brand out of Southern California. When we reach back into the bag of mysteries here, this is a really cute little zipper bag, like just a bag to hold things. And it's Jason holding pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> I thought this was so funny on the website. It's got one of those nice rainbowy metallic looking zippers. So I was thinking I might use this whenever I need to have some stuff to store. It's a nice little bag. And then on the inside, it's got a pretty like foresty pattern with the trees. I just thought I needed it because it was fun in fall. Why don't we open our first nail polish now? So this is a polish by My Indie Polish is the name of the brand. And this is a orangey brown kind of base with a reddish shimmer. That shimmer is really pretty. This is such a fall leaf color to me. And th this polish is called The Leaves Are Not Dying. I absolutely love browns. Brown nails, I love brown lipstick, I do it all. Okay, so it definitely starts off a little bit on the sheer side, but that's not always a bad thing because it definitely lets the shimmer kind of come through. Ooh, but that is immediately so pretty. Such a flattering shade of brown, honestly, and such a pretty shimmer. You know, when I look at this nail polish in person, that red shimmer at another angle, it actually looks green. So it seems like it might be a little bit of a multi-chrome. It builds up pretty nice. It's so smooth and easy to use, but it is very pretty. So next we've got a stamping plate and this is a stamping plate by Apipola and it is called Boo. And this is a very classically cute stamping plate. And the reason I really liked this stamping plate was because it's got at the top here all of the classic horror movie monsters on it. Even not that classic, like there's A Quiet Place, Saw, this is Alien vs. Predator, there's, this is called the Trick or Treat, this is little Sam, he's really cute. There's that nun from that scary movie that I don't know what it's called. A bunch of different ones, like, and I think this one's like the witch from Snow White. I just thought those were so cool. And there's the the ring, the girl coming out of the TV. And then there were just some other cute ones. I really liked Oogie Boogie down here. So these are called inverse stamps. And I really like when I find those on a plate. For this wolf, for example, the color of the sky is what's already painted on your nails. And then you stamp over it. I really like those kinds of stamps. And so I, I thought those were really cool too. And then of course there's just some good 
uh, very useful classic bloody hand prints and spiders and but I'm gonna kind of have to put this away now because it's not Halloween anymore so that kind of stinks and sad and makes me sad and I'm sad it's <sighs> fine let's do another polish honestly I've been looking forward to this one for the two months since I ordered it I was so 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 excited about it so this polish is by Lemon Lacquer, which they have the most adorable logo I've ever seen. And this is called Jack of the Lantern. And this is a hollow burnt orange color that I just think is stunning. <laughs> Clearly had a vibe going when I made this order. So it's definitely an orange base and then it's got like hollow glitter in it, but it's also got like these little, I think they're like red to black maybe glitters or something like that like really dark colored glitters in here it's got these like little black bits it just looks like embers to me it's just on fire but there's like this red shimmer in the background of this polish that is just so pretty and i just i love it so next up we have this fun bag of goodies this is a bag of swatch rings which if you've never heard of swatch rings, the basic idea is you have something and these all are, they're all little tombstones. Um, and they're meant to go on the neck of a bottle. So just like this one, you put it on the neck of the bottle like this and then you paint it so that you can have a little swatch of your nail polish to, to see. So they're all different. There's like five different designs of different tombstones. This one's got a little skull and crossbones on it. This one, it's got a little Omega on it. Oh, there's this one, a little cross. They're so cute, but they're just so cute. So I was thinking we could find a polish here to paint. The idea is you take your polish and you just paint the top of it like this. So the idea is you can go back later and I definitely would want to do a second coat here, but you can go back and so that you can see what color you've got in the bottle and what it looks like painted on. Because you know, a lot of times colors will look different when they you swatch them and they dry versus when they're actually in the bottle. And then you stick this on top. Obviously I, this was a quick job. I would probably do another coat, but then you've got your little swatch on there. Isn't that just precious? So that is by Cat Prints. Okay, what's next? Um, so we're going with the, <laughs> the orangey theme. I was in a mood, obviously, when I bought these. This is by Dark and Twisted Lacquer. Very hollow label. And here we've got another very pretty polish. And this one is definitely not exactly what you think it's gonna be. So we'll see when we swatch it, but it's called Boo. So Boo, I believe is in either like a clearish grayish base. And then it's suspended with all of these big orange glitters that have a hollow sparkle to them. So it, I think that this could be both a topper or um, you can, I think you can get it to full coverage with a few coats. Um, but I just thought this was such a unique looking polish. I really, there was something about it and you can see how pretty this sparkle is. It's so sparkly of those big thick glitters. And then there's a very subtle scattered hollow beneath that's like silver beneath the different sizes of the orange glitters. And I don't know what it was about this, but I just thought it was so pretty. I think that this would be really pretty though as a topper, but I would be curious if you could get opacity out of this because I do, I do think that it seems somewhat clear base. You definitely could sponge it on if you wanted. I think this would be really pretty sponge on getting like really like a bunch of those dense glitters together. I think would be really, really this is a bath bomb that is inside of a cauldron. Um, but this is by Handmade Natural Beauty. And so this is a bubbling bath cauldron. So it's got a little spider in it and it's just a bath bomb inside of a cauldron and so adorable. And I bet when you put it in the water, it fizzes and looks like a spooky potion. And now I kind of want to take a bath. So I might have to go take a bath with this. It's so cute. It doesn't, I can't really smell it. It just kind of smells like soap. So I'll be interested to know if it's got kind of a scent or if it's got any secrets in it. Okay, we're getting close to the end of this particular package. 
We've got a very cute little orangey package here. So in here, we have got a couple of things. So they included a little chai tea, which is very sweet. We have these hair clips, barrettes that are so pretty. I think that these are made with resin and I just love this top one. It looks like a candy corn. Isn't that so pretty? And they're super sparkly and shiny. They're, um, they feel pretty well put together. Here's the third one. That one's kind of like a fun uh, tie-dye looking pattern. This one's definitely the, the winner though. I just love a good candy corn. This is a bottle of some of my favorite stuff. This is Acetone Antidote. If you have never heard of Acetone Antidote, this is an additive that you add into your nail polish remover. Specifically, this is meant to be added into a bottle of 100% acetone, although you can use it whatever you want, but the, the recommendation is you get a bottle of like 100% pure acetone, and then you add some amount of this bottle and it is scented. So it makes your, your acetone scented as well as adding a uh, moisturizing benefit so that, you know how acetone's really drying? It keeps your nails from being as dry. It says, uh, shake well, add 0.5 ounces of the antidote to a four to eight ounce bottle of acetone, swirl your mix and it's ready to use. I swear by this stuff. I have had so many different smells. So it's called Cauldron Apple Bake. And this has a very apple, it's like a cinnamon apple candle smell. It's very spiced and very apple-y. It's very, um, very fall, like kind of like baked goods, you know, very, very vanilla type smell, very warm smelling. But if you've never done it before, don't add it all at once try out different amounts, you know, add a little bit at a time because some people just like different textures. Like I actually like a little bit less of this to my acetone because I just want my nail polish off <laughs> sometimes. Okay, let's open our last polish from this box. So this is from Zombie Claw Polish and this box, oh my goodness, this is so cute. So Zombie Claw Polish, it is a 10 free, cruelty free, vegan brand. And this is a 13 milliliter bottle and the polish is called Someday. It's changing the vibe from the oranges that we've been doing so far. So this is a pink and blue sparkle polish. How pretty is this? It's like a metallic pink kind of flaky with a turquoisey blue glitter throughout, so pretty. I didn't think this was at all Halloween-y unless you maybe count like cotton. It just reminded me of cotton candy. You know, like you get at the fair, like they always have the blue and the pink. I don't know what it is. I'm not even usually that much of a pink person, but there was something about this polish that just entranced me. Okay, so this is by The Nail Stuff, and this is a pair of sweater clips. So this is um, a pair of clips that go on the lapel of your sweater. And they've got these really pretty cabochons on them that kind of have like a magnetic finish on them where you see they've kind of directional. And then they've got these pretty little charms on them and it goes on the lapel of your sweater. It's like a jewelry or of whatever, you know, your button up shirt or whatever you're wearing. And I just think this is so cute. It's pretty short, just meant to go on the top of your sweater. And then it's got these little clips on the back. And in there as well, there's a little card and this really cute little sticker I got in there as well. So I think that is our last piece of Halloween nail mail for the year. So we got these four polishes that are just all so pretty. I mean, I obviously was in a mood for orange, <laughs> I guess when this box came up, but I just really like all of these so much. And I love all the little things that came in here. The little, like the stamping plate's really cool. I really love this Beetlejuice tray. I was really happy with this box. So what did you all think of this box? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.